Hi. Another day has passed, so I thought it was time to give everyone an update on the Ryzen AM4 motherboard BIOS overvolt whatever you thought was the cause of the problem memory issues I've been having. First, I wanted to mention that it wasn't my intention that the video be perceived as clickbaity as it was. Because of that, I changed the title of the video to something less clickbaity pretty quickly because I'll admit the title was a bit. I do honestly believe though, there is a problem with the Ryzen platform or at least my Gigabyte AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard in combination with G-Skill RGB memory. This morning, I booted up the PC and of the two sticks that were working the night before, one had died again. So now I was left with one working sticks of which the LEDs were broken and three dead sticks of which some LEDs did work. So because I wanted to do more testing and I was kind of fed up with this issue, I looked up the only computer hardware store that's open on Sunday in the Netherlands, happens to be Informatique, and drove there, bought a kit of Vengeance LPX 3200 CAS 16 memory. That's not the same as is in the AMD of the AMD, the AMD AM4 press kit, but it's pretty close. The press kit modules are 3000 megahertz and CAS 15, but this is what they had in stock. So I got it, drove back home and threw it into, into the system. And what do you know? Boots up just fine. Dual channel mode. Modules are running at 2133 megahertz, just like the G-Skill modules were. And after benching and stressing it a little bit, all was fine. So I did what any sane person would do. I booted into the BIOS and repeated exactly the same steps as killed my G-Skill memory. I enabled the XMP profile. I hit save and waited for the computer to reboot. But this time it got stuck in a boot loop. And after boot looping a few times, it threw me back into the BIOS and basically reset my memory settings. 3200 megahertz is a bit too high, which is also uh, what I've seen in other reviews on the internet but nothing broke. It just didn't take the 3200 megahertz. So after tinkering for a while and setting all the settings manually, I was able to boot up the modules at 2933 megahertz and all is fine. Stress test benchmarks, all works great. And I actually see the improved memory bandwidth. So what does that mean? The only semi-logical conclusions I can think of are A, Either G-Skill really has a Q&A problem and three or even four of the DIMMs I received are bad. Or B, the motherboard BIOS and G-Skill memory combination of my AX370 Gaming 5 is just killing the memory modules for whatever reason. But it only kills G-Skill RGB memory and not other memory like this Corsair kit but neither really makes sense to me. For A, I've had memory modules go bad or DOA in the past, but never three or actually four of the four modules. Maybe one or two, but four? What are the chances of that? And for B, why kill only G-Skill memory, but not any other brand or at least my Corsair kit? That doesn't make sense either. So that doesn't really give me a solid conclusion to what's going on. For now, we'll have to see this week what G-Skill and Gigabyte come back with. Remember, this was the weekend, so I didn't get any response yet. It, it'll probably come down to having to RMA the uh, G-Skill kit, but we'll have to see. Also, I've noticed that other reviewers out there, like OC3D, are running a different BIOS version on the motherboard than I am. The only public version available is the F3 BIOS, but at least Tiny Tim Logan from OC3D is running the F3F BIOS, which he says had a lot of memory improvements. So maybe something's up with that. So now I have memory that does work and overclocks to the level I thought it would, I can finally get back to my 4770K to Ryzen comparison and make the videos I did want to make benchmark the horizon. So I hope to see you all back for that and see you next time. Bye bye.